during today's flight. Vehicle to internal power. First umbilical tower there uh, separating from the booster. Thirty seconds now until launch. Ground umbilical to the third stage has been disconnected, and in just a moment, the second umbilical tower will separate. Power on board. There's the second tower. Command for ignition, oxygen. Launch command has been issued. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight speed. Engine at maximum thrust. Lift off. And there is lift off of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station, carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Obchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first time to uh, launch to space, and Alexei Obchinin's second. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. In the first stage, the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. into the flight, the pressure in the chamber is nominal, Lock one, copy, uh, everything is well on board, they're feeling well, thank you, copy. Everything proceeding as uh, intended for today's flight, now just a little over a minute into it, velocity of the Soyuz is about 1100 miles per hour. View here of the crew inside the Soyuz now making their way to the International Space Station. Nick Haig there at the top of the screen and Alexei Ochinin at the bottom. View here of the Soyuz making its way into space. Everything looking good, proceeding nominally. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. Everything continuing nominally. Four strap on boosters have been jettisoned and they've completed their job, dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz traveling about 3,000, uh, 3,350 miles an hour. Is it emergency for 30 minutes, 45 